Word and Booze Food. I'm Kristen. And I'm Paula. Normally we would be taking you around the world to some of our favorite breweries, wineries, and distilleries. Unfortunately, in light of recent events, that's not going to happen anytime soon. We, like you, are safe at home, so we decided to play with some of our favorite recipes and wanted to share them with you. We recognize you're cooking out of your pantry, so we have offered tons of substitutions and we've also offered an, a substitution for the alcohol. We understand if you have little, so we just don't want to add it into your recipes. So open up those wine cellars and liquor cabinets and come cook Quarantine Cuisine with us. Hey y'all, it's Kristen with Brood and Booze Food. Hope everyone is having a great day. Um, so I'm popping on here to show you how to make one of my favorite desserts. I'm in the mood for something sweet. And um, I learned this recipe from um, a gentleman, his name is Felix Gonzalez. He was my grandfather's best friend. My grandfather was a butcher and used to work in different restaurants and Felix had a restaurant in Sun Valley, Idaho and he showed me the secret to these amazing brownies. So what you need today is a box of your favorite brownie mix. Today we're gonna use the Ghirardelli um, dark chocolate brownie mix, but you can use whatever brand you like and enjoy. You can also make them from scratch if you're feeling a little extra feisty. Um, Follow the directions on your box. Um, this one calls um, to heat your preheat your oven to 325, and it asks for an 8x8 eight eight pan. So I have my little square 8x8 um, eight eight pan here. I did pre-grease it already. Um, I just used um, the oil that we're going to put in the brownies um, as my um, grease agent um, for the pan. Um, you can use cooking spray, uh, butter, whatever. Whatever you need to do to grease your pan, grease your pan. And then, again, this is a very simple, simple um, recipe to make. Whatever box mix you like, and we're gonna jazz them up a little bit. You cut these open. And especially during these trying times, we all need a little something sweet and a little something delicious. Okie dokie. Add in our brownie mix. Calls for um, a half a cup of oil. Um, I'm using grapeseed oil. I didn't have any vegetable oil um, in the cupboard. So grapeseed is great um, because it is, you're able to um, use it for high temperature things. So this is a great alternative to vegetable oil if you're not really feeling that. Dump that in. I'm gonna add um, one egg is what this recipe calls for. And then our secret ingredient to make these brownies extra delicious, instead of the water that it calls for in brownies, we're going to substitute Kahlua, a nice um, coffee flavor to liqueur. You can actually add whatever liqueur in here that you most enjoy. It will be great. Um, you could use Grand Marnier, make them kind of like an orange chocolate thing. Um, creme de menthe would be nice to kind of do like a pepperminty chocolate vibe. Also, I was thinking um, Chambord would be lovely in this kind of a raspberry chocolate um, flavor would be great. So it calls for a fourth a cup of water. So we're going to do a fourth a cup of the um, Kahlua. Pour that in there. Also at this point too, if you want to add more chocolate chips, you can add that. If you want to add nuts to your brownies, I know some people enjoy that. Um, you even might be able to do um, some toffee bits. We, I know they sell those little toffee, like almost like Heath Bar chunks that you can buy at the grocery store. So we're going to mix this up. If you do see that your batter is a little thick, because the thing with um, substituting the alcohol, it's not going to be as um, liquefied as just adding water. So we're going to mix these up and I'm going to look at it and see if the batter is too thick. If it's too thick, I'm just going to add a little bit of water. There's my oven is timed and ready to go. Yeah, that batter's looking a little thick. Just going to add just a little bit of water just to kind of thin this out just a little bit. These brownies are going to have lots of flavor with your Kahlua. Now yeah, that's much better. Okie dokie. Mix those up. And 
looks good to go. And we're gonna put these in our greased pan. Add it like that. Add right, our brownie mix, make sure you evenly distribute it in the pan. And these are gonna be so good. They have these giant chocolate chips in them already. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, that looks great. Um, in the package directions, it says um, to cook these brownies about 45 to 50 minutes. I'm going to set the timer for 45 and then check them, um, and I'll let you know how they turn out. So we cooked our brownies for about 45 minutes. I pulled them out, out of the oven and set them out on the counter um, to cool completely. If you try to cut into the hot brownies, they are gonna fall apart, so patience. Um, and once they're cool, um, feel free to enjoy them just as they are. Or my favorite way is with a scoop of your favorite vanilla ice cream and a drizzle of whatever liqueur you used in the brownies. Now that's a dessert. So for this recipe and others like it, um, check out our website, brewedandboostfood.com and click on Quarantine Cuisine. Also make sure to like us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll cook with you soon.